To install the new headlights, we'll first need to remove the OEM front bumper. We'll be starting in the wheel well. Grab a power tool with a T20 attachment, where we have to remove three small screws from each side. Once these screws are removed, carefully pull the bumper from the sides to gain access to the side bumper light. Carefully twist and pull to remove both the connection and the bulb. Take your time and be sure to repeat this process on the other side. Once these OEM lights are sorted, we need to head to the underguard of the bumper to remove six screws locking it in from the bottom. The bottom of the bumper should now be completely loose. There are just six more points holding the bumper from the top, a mix of bolts and clips. The outer two will be secured with 10mm bolts. And the four plastic ones in the middle can be easily notched out with a tool. Be aware the bumper is now loose and can slip off if you're not careful. Grab a good hold of the bumper and carefully shimmy it out. With the bumper now on the ground, there's actually one more connection to detach here on the driver's side as shown. This is the air temp sensor. Flick out the red tab and then pull out the connection. This one can be a bit stubborn. We can now completely remove the bumper which will give us access to the OEM headlights. Start with the two 7mm screws holding each light in place on the top as shown. Go ahead and remove them with a power tool with the right attachment. You can't go straight down on the first one so a wobble extension comes in real handy here. The other screws should be easy as to remove. There are two more 7mm screws holding each light on the bottom as shown. Make quick work of them, then simply repeat this process on the other side. With the lights loose, we can now access the connectors on each to detach them. There are two connections on each side to be disconnected. Simply press in on each and pull. We can now remove the OEM headlights. And we just have to repeat on the other side. This Chevy Cruze is now ready for our new, upgraded DRL projector headlights. Each headlight will come with this resistor to be plugged into the back of each. You'll also find this rubber seal that has an adhesive on the back. This is to be attached to the top of the light from one end all the way across to the other. The other bundle you'll find is the wiring harness for the daytime running light. It comes with a quick connector to tap into an accessory power source. It connects to the bare end of this red wire. There are also two bullet connectors on this wire that plug into the harness on the back of each of the headlights. Flipping the light over, the connections will be connected into the back of the headlight on this portion of the harness. This harness has a connector for the resistor and a female connection for the bullet connector. The bullet connector will plug into this wire as shown for the DRL function, if you choose to connect it this way. You'll also see that it has a resistor already connected onto the headlight. We include an extra one to attach. Plug the extra resistor into the headlight as shown. And then peel off the adhesive on the back. We're going to attach the resistor to this side where there is ample clearance for it. Now we are going to flip it back over, peel back the protective layer to expose the top and delicately attach the rubber seal. You may find a little extra on the end to cut off afterwards. Now this light is ready and you just have to repeat this process with the other light. Then we can head back to the Chevy Cruze to install them. Start by plugging back in the two connectors on the back of each light. A clicking sound will confirm when they are locked and be sure to flick back in the upper tabs. When aligning the driver's side headlight, carefully shift the coolant tank tube slightly off to the side for better clearance. Now we can lock our new headlight into place by re-securing these two points. Grab your power tool with a wobble extension to quickly sort these out. Now go underneath the headlight to re-secure the two screws on the bottom. Again, the power tool will get them sorted in no time. We can now align and install the other new headlight, then just repeat the process. Be sure to take your time aligning and securing both headlights. We're finally ready to reattach the OEM front bumper. Place it down close to the driver's side so we can reattach the air temp sensor harness as shown. Simply plug it back in and we can continue with the front bumper. Carefully place the bumper back onto the vehicle. 
quickly re-secure a couple of the plastic clips on top to hold the bumper in place. This way, it won't be able to slide off. Now we can take our time to re-secure the rest of the top screws. Remember there's a mix of plastic and 10mm bolts here. It's a good time to peel off the protective film so it doesn't get caught in the bumper clips. Next step is to pull this part of the bumper aside so we can access and reinstall the bumper light. Make sure everything is aligned and carefully push this side of the bumper back into place. Repeat on the other side to reinstall the other bumper light. Apply a bit of force and your bumper will be locked back into place. Grab your power tool with the T20 attachment to tighten everything down. Make sure you hit both sides. Now we are going to re-secure the T20 screws all along the front edge. There should be 8 of these screws on the bottom. Once the bottom is all sorted, we can drop the hood, because we are done. Congratulations, these upgraded DRL projector headlights will live on your Chevy Cruze for many a mile. A sleek build with projector headlights and a vibrant glow bar. To always light your way.